Hi there, today I will share on how to host your own photo album. Piwigo is an open source photo album application where you can share photos among your family and friend. It's private, secured and easy. Now let's get started. First, we need to install some prerequisites applications and utilities. Type the following command as shown on screen, I have also leave these command in my blog, link in the description below. Now, we need to install some dependencies. Type the following command as shown on screen. Next, is to configure the PHP configurations file. Type the following command as shown on screen. Make the following configuration changes by modifying the value. Search for memory underscore limit and ensure the value is 256M. Next, search for upload underscore max underscore file size. Ensure the value is 200M. If not, change it accordingly. Next, search for post underscore max underscore size. Ensure the value is 200M. If not, change it accordingly. Next step is to search for date.timezone. Now, change the time zone according to your location. Once all done, proceed to save the file and exit. In the next step, we need to create a blank database for Powego. Type the following command. sudo mysql-u root-p. Now, enter the database password. First of all, let's create a new database for Powego. Type the following command. Create database Powego underscore db. Next, is to create a user and assign the user to the new Powigo database. Type the following command. Create user Powigo user at localhost identified by Powigo pass. Next, is to grant the new user to access the new Powigo database. Type the following command. Grant all privileges on Powigo underscore db dot asterisk to Powigo user at localhost identified by Powigo pass with grant option. Now, for the changes to take effect, we need to reload the database. Type the following command. Flush privileges. Then we can safely exit the database command prompt.
Next step is to download the latest version of Pwigo. Type the following command sudo curl dash o pwigo.zip https colon slash slash pywigo.org slash download slash dlcounter.php question mark code equal sign latest. You can also copy this command from my blog, link in the description below. The download may take a while, depending on your internet speed. After the download completed, we need to extract the file to the web server's path. The path will be different from mine, please adjust accordingly. Type the following command. sudo unzip pwigo.zip d slash var slash www slash demo.com slash photos. The extraction process may take a while and depending on your computer. Next step is to grant the required permissions to Pwigo folder. Type the following command. sudo ch own dash r www dash data colon www dash data slash var slash www slash demo dot com slash photos. Adjust your path accordingly. Grant the following permissions to Type this command. sudo ch mod r 755 slash var slash www slash demo dot com slash photos. Okay, now we need to modify the Apache configuration accordingly. My configuration file and path will be different, so adjust accordingly. Type the following command sudo nano slash etc slash apache 2 slash sites dash enabled slash demo dot com dot conf modify the configuration file as shown on screen take note of the path as my configuration file will not be the same as yours so please adjust accordingly Once done, proceed to save the file and exit. Before continuing further, we need to test the new configuration. Type the following command. sudo apache2ctl config test. We also need to enable the apache rewrite module. Type the following command sudo a 2 en mod rewrite and finally we need to restart the apache server type the following command sudo system ctl restart apache 2 after the apache have restarted Open an internet browser and type the following URL, the URL will be different than mine, so please adjust accordingly. 
Upon successful page load, we need to initialize and configure some basic settings. First, select the correct language. Then, configure the database information. Key in the database user's name and password. Next, key in the database name. Now, we need to create the first administrator account. Key in the preferred user's name and password. You will also need a valid email address. Once all information has been filled, proceed to click on the Start Installation button. Click on the Visit the Gallery button. And click on the I Want to Add Photos button. This is the Piwigo dashboard screen. You can now upload your photos and create albums as you like. Thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. It will be a great motivation for me.